Hey guys, welcome to Pokemon Battle Dojo. This is a series where we study Pokemon viability, strategies, and move mechanics aiming to improve our batting skills. Today, we will be talking about an update to the Generation 1 move, Teleport. Teleport in earlier battle mechanics was only usable for fleeing wild Pokemon, but in Let's Go, wild battles are exclusive to Legendaries and Snorlax. This is probably the reason why Game Freak decided to make this change. Now let's study the changes. First off, Teleport is still a non-damaging move, but this time, it allows the user to switch out. I was slightly hyped by this because I thought this could be Alakazam's answer to Soccer Punch, but later I found out that Teleport is now negative 6 in priority. Now the question is how can we make use of these changes? A user from PokemonDB.net raised a sensible use case and that is for scouting. She mentioned that if you are expecting a switch from your opponent, you can use teleport so you can choose a Pokemon to send out after seeing what your opponent does. Another one that I learned while battling is to use it for conservative switch. That is when we are walled by our opponent and we can switch out because the ones at the back are frail or low in HP, we can use teleport to take cheap damage in exchange for a safe switch. Additional potential benefit from what we talked about earlier is that in the future games, we might be able to abuse two useful abilities which is Intimidate and Regenerator. But that depends if Game Freak decided to keep it in the coming games. So which Pokemon can be effective in harnessing the new powers of Teleport? The keyword here is Bulk. That is, because our Pokemon will move last, it should be capable of taking hit. And because of that, my top pick would be Arcanine. Not the bulkiest of the Pokemon that can learn teleport but still very capable defensively. Also, there's nothing much on its move pool so we can easily squeeze teleport in its moveset. My other recommended Pokemon would be Slowbro, Mew, Mewtwo, preferably Mega Mewtwo X. But applying the same judgment with Arcanine, their move pool is quite vast, especially Mew, so you might end up regretting spending a move slot for teleport. And that's all for now, I hope you learned something new from this session. I know it's a gimmicky and very situational move, so if you found a more effective way on using it, feel free to share it by leaving a comment. And also, I'm inviting you to watch out for the next one. We will be talking about a strategy for double battles that heavily relies on the move Rock Slide.